Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. You know I said a little while ago I wasn't going to turn this into a Nintendo Switch channel. But I've done it again guys. I've uh, oh, been on the eShop and I saw an absolute, oh fantastic bundle I call it. Um, it's the Castlevania anniversary collection guys konami absolutely wonderful fantastic brilliant uh, franchise guys yeah a collection of oh so many games it's unbelievable and to boot you get a ebook with the whole history everything you could possibly ever want to know about castlevania is in this ebook it is awesome um so yeah what a package guys absolutely fantastic package now i had a sneaky peek i haven't played the games yet um so i thought we'd do that together i'd play it for the first time obviously i played all the games in the past bar one because it's actually a uh, kid dracula oh my god a game that was never localized before and uh the company behind all this is m2 again guys so i am pretty damn sure it's going to be pure flipping gold again because everything m2 do as i always say they have the midas touch they turn everything into bloody gold and they've localized kid dracula now i know from watching um previous videos that kid dracula is a very different flavor of castlevania it's a spin-off guys and it's a a more mario-esque um platformer quite childish looking very cartoony um and has very uh, fun uh bouncy music to it so it's going to be a stunner to to uh, to actually play that um yeah and see what it's actually like guys i mean oh my god what a package so will you join me guys as i hook him up again and use this beautiful bloody control pad again it's going to be interesting to see how this works with castlevania games will it be um uh, something a learning curve with the uh using the uh pro controller um some mm, some games that i played uh yeah it is a bit of a learning curve because it's not using the controls the way the original hardware did so it's going to be interesting to see with this one mm. but it's m2 guys so even if it is a bit of a you know oh i played castlevania like this on the snes for so many years i think you're going to get used to it because m2 are fantastic the controls i'm sure i'm sure i'm so sure he says both his fingers crossed that the music's going to be spot on the graphics are going to be spot on the bloody gameplay in general is going to be bloody spot on because it's m2 oh, what a company right so will you join me guys as we hook him up to the dock over the tv and we have a look at this fantastic bundle guys yep the castlevania anniversary collection guys and you know what the best bit is it's in the sale again this is under eight quid guys i paid 7.39 uh, because i had some coins again but i do believe it's about 7.99 it's under eight pound and you get a ton a ton of bloody content for that so wow let's go and have a look shall we join me again in a sec guys right you lovely people Shall we take a look at this awesome pickup I here made on the Nintendo Switch eShop again? I can't believe that I paid under eight quid for this, guys. It was literally with my points. It was uh, seven thirty nine, I do believe. So it's quite a bit of a saving there. 
um, from the original price. I think it's something like 50% saving, something like that. Don't quote me on that, but yeah, what a fantastic grab, guys. Yeah. Uh, of course, we're going to now take a look and see what you actually get for that money. As I said earlier, you get an ebook with it. And uh, yeah, I mean, wow, I was so stoked when I saw this one and had to grab it, guys. Uh, M2 at their best again, I'm sure. Whatever they touch, as I've said many times before, is absolute flipping gold. Right, let's go in and have a look, shall we? At Konami's fantastic franchise, eh? <laughs> right there's your control layout guys the usual gubbins there I'll let you look at that for a minute yeah you've got your start select options menu and all that right here we go wow listen to that music guys Oh, look at that artwork as well. That artwork's fantastic. Look at it. So, oh, so retro. <laughs> no, usually it doesn't kick into anything on the M2 uh, games that we've uh, seen up to now. And it looks like this is going to be the same, guys. So we'll go into it now. Let's see what you get for your money, guys. On the side there, it's giving you the story. Obviously, I'm not going to leave that to uh, to run too long because, uh, yeah, it's a bit long-winded to say the least. On the other side there, and that's the content you get, guys. So you've got Castlevania, you've got Simon's Quest, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania. Castle, oh, the Castlevania Adventure. Wow, there's some titles on here, aren't there? Blimey. Ooh, Castlevania 2, Don Wants and Revenge. You've got Castlevania Bloodlines, Castlevania The New Generation. And here we've got Kid Dracula, guys. <laughs> That's an interesting one to see, I tell you. Kid Dracula, wow, there's, there's some bloody stonking titles on here, guys. I mean, Jesus, under eight quid. Bloody hell. And then you get the bonus book, of course. Yeah, that's the e-book. We're going to be taking a look at that as well. Bonus JP version. Right, okay, what does this say right there? Bonus J Japanese version of the game included in this collection are also available. Enjoy finding all of the differences between the English versions. That's very interesting, guys, that you can go on to there and play the Japanese versions because we, you know, infamously, we know that they're very different sometimes, so that is fantastic. I can see this being a two-parter, guys, this video, because this has got some bloody content on it. Wow. Well, let's head back up to the top first and start with the classic, the first Castlevania, guys. From 1987 for the NES. Shall we have a look? Oh, I think so. Let's start getting there we go, guys. <clears throat> Let's see if it kicks in with anything at all. Well, I have a quick vape. <laughs> look at that. Wow, talking about retro, bloody classic, look at that. Looks bloody awesome. <laughs> Brings back so many memories, guys, wow. Blimey, right, okay. Right, shall we have a go at this thing then? Let's have a look, and here we go, I do believe, is that right? Yeah, that's the right one, there we go. <clears throat> Oh, so pixelated these days, of course, but um, yeah, still blind in there. Right, 
playing smooth as anything though guys isn't it eh? and it just smooth as anything to get used to the controls but um, I'm sure they will uh, be fine in the end. Oh, there we go. Ah, you swine. Oh, here comes another dog. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, this goes beautifully, guys. Absolutely stunning. Obviously not uh, groundbreaking graphics by today's standards, by a long shot, but uh, yeah, this is awesome. Brilliant, brilliant. You're always more or less guaranteed you're going to get a gem with them too. Oh, bugger. can't linger too long on uh, every single game because we'll be here forever won't we yes we certainly will we'll go down here Yes, guys, that is fantastic. Whoa. Oh, you swine. <laughs> right, I'm going to pause it for a sec, guys, and then we'll have a look at the next one. Yeah, I had to pause it there, guys, because I wasn't too sure how you quit the game. But yes, it's the two shoulder buttons again, guys, together. And then you can go to Save, Replay, Save, Load, Manual, Display Settings, Frame, Controls, Game reset and exit, and then of course return if you want to go back to the game. So we're going to go to exit, and yes, right. So that was the, the first one there, guys. Now we're going to take a look at Simon's Quest Castlevania 2, of course. There we go. Again, I'll see if it kicks in with a demo. Right, we're just going to skip through that by the looks of it there, guys. Right, so let's go into it. Right, here we go. And let's start again, isn't it? Here we go. Right, let's have a look at this one and see how well this one plays. Right. Oh yeah, this is uh, yeah, it's playing very very smoothly again. Absolutely blinding. Yeah. Oh bugger! 
He's not somebody I'm supposed to kill. He's offering a bump in this town. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, that was very interesting. Talk to me what? Buy a white crystal? Hmm, might as well. Okay. I bought a white crystal. Oh yes, here we go guys. Fantastic, please fantastic. Yeah. How oh, lovely is that? What a horrible night to have a curse. Straight up bloody water. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Unfair starting there. Oh yes, go on, let's continue. Go on then, bring it up. There we go. Oh, you bugger. Get off. Oh, every time he knocks me in the bloody water. I'm going to have to jump straight over, guys, I think. Get out of his... Oh, if I can. Here's my usual really fantastic playing guys. Yeah. There we go, I can get rid of them now. There we go. Nice one. That's better. Brilliant. This is superb again guys, running as it should sounds fantastic, it is just yeah blinding exactly as it should be. Thank you M2 for being so bloody wonderful. Once again, my cat seems to want to destroy the furniture if you can hear that in the background there. Yeah this is a stunner again guys, wow, blinding. Oh, yeah, bugger. Well, I'm not going to get a moment in that right. Come on, you swan. That's it, got you. Right, we're going to have to move on to the next one, guys, I do believe. Right, so let's go shoulder buttons. There we go. Right, let's take a look at another one. I'm going to exit. Yes. Yeah, so that, that was fantastic running again, guys. Sounding absolutely spot on. 
Now let's have a look at Dracula's Curse. I'll let that play for a minute again. Oh, that looks stunning already, doesn't it? Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. 1990, this one goes. Certainly sounds brilliant at the moment. is going on a bit again <laughs> as usual go and leave it to play though because you've seen all the artwork here as well guys of Europe. All right, <clears throat> let's see then guys. Come on you, that's got to be it now. Here we go guys. Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, let's start that. We don't want to go through that again. Right, here we go. Oh, the one and M. Okay then. Let's put one in then. As you all know, I'm ready called Andreas, but everybody in the UK knows me as Andy. Oh, come on, you go over there. I've been a bit sensitive here. You're probably better off with the D-pad, guys, actually. Oh, yeah, much better. So, yeah, I would say definitely better with the D-pad on that keyboard there. Right, straight in with the action, then. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Whip. Jump. Whip. Yeah. Yep, we've got that straight away, brilliant. Oh, come on, you! I've got to get my timing right there, where the buttons are, are reversed to the original hardware. Uh, that takes a bit of getting used to again. But yeah, we'll get there in the end. <clears throat> again, Sounds fantastic, so running like a dream. What would you expect really? M2. I can't say that enough guys, M2. That is definitely a seal of quality, I tell you. Come on you, jump. Oh, this is, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll believe that then. Oh, get back up. Come on. Yeah, back up we go. Come on. Oh, it's like I'm a little boogie there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, bugger. That's it, got you. The music's suitable for his little boogie as well, isn't it? Right, I'm going to try it with the D pad again because I think in some ways it's better now. Definitely, yeah, with the D-pad it's easier now. But it was probably just that menu system where it was uh, a bit, uh, yeah, a bit annoying. 
It's certainly better on this uh, bit here. He says. <clears throat> oh yeah, but oh, at least I avoided getting him. But he's swine. <clears throat> Doesn't it look absolutely stunning again, guys? Let's get back over there, yeah. Just remember how you have to press the D-pad to get up those stairs. Bit of an art form. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you just got to get it right, guys. Get up them stairs, and that's it. Keep it up as much as you can. Oh. Yeah, come on in this one. That's it, got ya. Turn around. Uh -huh, still can't master that though. Oh, you bugger. Right, okay, let's have a look. Oh, here comes a bloody skeleton again. with a jump and uh, to hit those candlesticks is a pain in the bum but um, I'm sure that's down to my playing more than anything no doubt there we go that's better and getting used to the controls of course as such which is not an easy feat right there we go come on you get down there yeah I think got there and then <clears throat> Oh yeah, bugger. Press the wrong button. Aha, got it. Oh yeah, clear off. Oh, you swine. Right guys, good place to pause it again, I think. We'll just kill him. Just for the hell of it. There we go. Right, we're going to go back uh, to the uh, next game, guys. We're going to pause it this time so that the video doesn't overrun. For, um, on my uh, filming here. Back in a minute. Right, here we go. We'll take a look at the next one then. Back down to exit. Yes. Right, so yeah, that, that was blinding as well, wasn't it? Wow. But yeah, where are we next? Right, let's have a look. Next we have Super Castlevania. Let's have a look at this one then. This should be awesome, guys. start. <laughs> I'll let this play guys. And this is when it really came into its own, isn't it? When we got to these kind of graphics, wow.
that music. Wow. Fantastic. I will definitely have to get Josh onto this game. I'm sure he'll absolutely uh, love all these different different Castlevanias that are on here. I mean, what, what a way to discover this franchise to have them all in one like this, guys. Absolutely uh, stunning way to be introduced to this uh, fantastic franchise. And as I keep saying, guys, under eight quid, you get all this. Right, here we go then, I guess. A little bit of the play in there. Oh, doesn't it look beautiful? Especially compared to the NES versions. I mean, they're still fantastic to play, but look at this. I mean, what, what a difference. Right, here we go, guys. Let's start it. Here we go again with the keyboard, so I'm going to go back down to the D-pad for this. Because it's a pain otherwise. What's that? Yeah, your name. Like that, that's it. Right, straight into the action again, here we go. Right, how the controls work this time. Right, okay, just jump at the moment, is it? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Right. Found the whip. Different button again this time. And then we'll get some of these candlesticks while we can. Yeah, let's go up here. Oh, how atmospheric is this? Oh, here we go. Oh, the whip's so much easier to handle as well. Yeah, this really is a castle. Castlevania becoming stunning. But that oh getting those at higher candlesticks is so much easier than the uh, NES versions. That's there then let you go on get that up. Right, let's go there, yeah. Oh yeah, bugger. Did press the wrong button there. Of course I would. Ah, I'll teach me on it. I just cannot remember, guys. No. 
Just die again, guys. Aha, there we go. We're inside. Nice one. How you do it, Sydney Alice. <clears throat> oh, this is oh, this is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Sound is spot on. Gameplay smooth as butter. Oh, let's jump over here, we're gonna. Couldn't quite remember if I had to just jump over it or not. Stunner people, wow, absolutely fantastic. Right, let's go into the next one. That was stunning. Wow, oh, what am I doing? Let's try again, John. <clears throat> right now, we're up to the a castlevania adventure now this i do believe it was a game boy game wasn't it from 1989 yes i do believe it was a game boy game let's have a look shall we and see right yeah here we go yeah definitely a game boy game guys original game boy of course See if anything happens. No, it doesn't look like it. Right, here we go then. Haha, <laughs> now this is pixelated glory, isn't it? Look at this. <laughs> Still fantastic, you know. <laughs> oh, does this bring back memories, eh? Oh, get off you, bugger. This is playing smooth as again. Oh, bugger off you. Get out of it. Get off. Love the way you can climb the ropes on this one. Brilliant. That's, of course, how they got around, uh, you know, graphical uh, things that, you know, obviously been a... Uh, a much less powered, you know, hand, little handheld. They had to, uh, yeah, cut back on the graphics a bit, didn't they? And that's how they uh, basically got around it. If I could ever jump up here, that would be handy. Okay, there we go. But yeah, 
yes, they're stunning still, even on the uh, Game Boy. That's it. Yeah, this is how they got around the staircases, guys, basically. Because um, they knew they wouldn't be able to uh, really do it. So they used ropes instead, which worked very, very well, as you can see. To be fair, that's a good place to stop because obviously it's not the most. Uh, town I've got a little bit more, I suppose. Mm. I can't stop myself from the start of these games. I really can't. As badly as I'm playing them. Oh, I'm just going to die again in a minute. Yes, leave that one. So we're going to have to stop it here guys and get on the next one I suppose. What a little stunner eh? Obviously very very basic um, because it was on the Game Boy guys. As I said they had to cut back on the graphics a bit uh, to make it run on the Game Boy. So fantastic use of the ropes instead of the staircases though. So brilliant. Right here we go. Again it ran smooth as butter. So you can't complain there can you? And it sounded fantastic. Right, next we have, this is Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, let's have a look. Again, Game Boy title guys. Nineteen ninety one. this one. Don't think it's going to kick in with anything, is it? Oh, it might be. Let's have a look there. Now a new battle must begin. Right, here we go. Let's start this thing. Again, look at those graphics, guys. <laughs> Ooh, we'll start there then, yeah. <clears throat> Goodest place did I need to start there? The Crystal Castle.
Alright, we got oh we've got any other way around this time of course. Again, there, you sods. Come on, that's it, got you. Oh, yeah, they break, of course. And there's the rocks again, guys. And same thing again. Come down, that's it, you won't get bugger. Come on, up you go. That's it. Get it, yes. Missed. I'm going to have to go roll that again. Oh dear. That under there, come on. That's it. Oh ho ho. Made that. <laughs> Come on, that. <laughs> yeah, playing, playing fantastic again, guys. Sound is spot on. Again, oh, you really can't uh, fault them too, can you? They, they are brilliant. Oh, and then I died again, of course. again guys good place to stop so right on to the next one all right let's see what's next so yeah that was brilliant again guys of course very basic graphics again Game Boy title so but yeah M2 did a fantastic job there again right next guys uh, Castlevania Bloodlines Castlevania the new generation wow this, this is an awesome game, guys. It was on, obviously, like I said, there on the Genesis and the Mega Drive. Um, yeah, what, what can you say? It's a fantastic, fantastic game. Let's see what they've uh, managed to achieve here. Have they kept it as uh, faithful and as beautiful as the original? Here we go. Let's have a look. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Oh, 
Right, here we go guys, we'll go straight in with the action, I think. Oh, come on you. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Who shall we be? Eric or John? Let's be John. Yeah, come on in. Come on, John. <clears throat> Ruins of the castle of Dracula, Romania. Right, let's see how the controls work this time round. Oh, I love these these little sequ sequences. Oh, they're just fantastic. So much atmosphere, it's incredible. Right, so, right, okay, so there's the whip. Okay. Yep, that's not too bad to get up the stairs there. Again, what a stunning game. Absolutely stunning. Come on, you, up there. Got it. Yeah, the controls do take some getting used to, guys, because they are different, slightly different layout, and of course, it's using the. Uh, I'm using the Pro Controller. Um, but yeah, it's something you're going to get used to as you play it more. Of course, this is the first time I've been playing this uh, collection on the Switch. So, yeah, the controls are going to take some getting used to, but once you have, it's going to be stunning. Because you can't get better than the Pro Controller, guys. Look at this, wow. This is fantastic, it really is. Concentrate on him more than the crystal. Oh, you buggers. That's it, get up there quick. Isn't this, isn't this just gorgeous? To, to be fair, gorgeous looking game. Oh, yeah. Piss off. Oh. Stunning, oh, beautiful, beautiful bloody game, that. Right, on to the next one, guys. Oh, M2, you really are bloody magicians. You really are. What a company they are. Right, so next, guys, we've got a very interesting title here. This is the last one, and then we'll have a look at the ebook. Um, this is Kid Dracula. Um, yeah, fantastic. This is. Um, yeah, 2019, as you can see there, guys. Uh, originally released for the family computer in Japan. Only as blah, blah. I'm not going to try and even attempt to pronounce that. Dracula, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, 1990, Dracula has been, for the first time, applies in English for this occasion. Wow. Oh, I mean, there you go, guys. If there isn't a bloody good enough reason to pick it up, that is a good enough bloody reason. That's the first time it's been translated. Wow. Right, let's have a look at it then. Of course, this is not your usual Castlevania game. But it's a, a spin-off, shall we say. 
a very funny looking one at that and uh, more childish graphics shall we say and a hell of a lot more childish music Is it going to kick in with anything? Doesn't look like it. Or a start then. Right, new game, yes. Yeah, this is going to be a very different experience for you here, guys. What a st stunning little title to have on here. And in English. <laughs> okay. This is so Japanese, it's... Well, wow. <laughs> right here we go then. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Right, so he fires little uh, thing bobs. Yeah, never played this game before, guys. I've only seen uh, play-ons of it in the past. Oh, a little bit of tear in there. I noticed. Oh, this is um, yeah, this is more like a uh, a platformer as such, in you know, a proper platformer. Almost Mario, Mario ish, I should say. It just, oh, I'm just, um, yeah. Come on, then, you're back to coming down, I know you are. Oh, you buggers. Come on, come down again then. Oh, they're buggers, aren't they? Yeah. Just have to avoid them then, I guess. Yeah, it's a lot of screen tear in there, guys. Did you see that? That could have something to do with it being a more difficult one for them to have worked on. Let's try and get that to show again. No, it's not showing at the moment. Let's get him. Yeah, keep uh, an eye on the uh, right side, guys, and you'll see what I mean about the, the screen tearing. Um, oh, he takes a couple to kill. Okay. I'm sure it's probably doing it from the left as well. But uh, yeah, I only spotted it on the right. There we go, let's wait for them to turn their backs. Well, it's very fun. Did you see the screen tearing then, guys? Let's see if we can get that to do that again. Keep an eye on the right, guys. Oh, it doesn't do it, Nick. Oh, there we go. There it was. Yeah, there you go, guys. You can see it for yourself. Oh, oh you bugger. <laughs> oh, no, right back to the beginning. Oh, dear. Can you go in there? I don't know. It's like a doorway, isn't it? No, you don't seem to be able to go in there. Oh, it's very fun. Very, very, very fun, but a completely different uh, kettle of fish altogether to the usual Castlevania games. Absolutely different kettle of fish. Right, so we know to avoid them. Oh, you can shoot up as well. Right, okay. Oh, right. You can shoot up. That's a nice touch. I like that. But you can get rid of them above you. That's fantastic. Wow. Blinding. Screen tearing again. Oh, but you can live with that just to be able to play this title, can't you? Mm. Oh, I got him just in time there. I doubt there's more coming. Screen tearing again. A oh, little bit of screen tearing on the characters as well, I noticed. But yeah, I, I can live with that. That is absolutely fine. Just to be able to play this game is uh, awesome. So, who cares? Oh, they all got me there, didn't they? <laughs> that was a bit unfair. Oh, let's get out of heart first. Life's back up again, brilliant. There we go, get him as well. I keep forgetting about being able to shoot up, guys. That makes it so much easier, it really does. Wow, who's here? Do I kill him? No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do kill him. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. It really is fun. Right, what do we do? Do we do one to there? Yeah, we do. And it moves you along. Show you again there. Stand on it and it moves you along. Oh, not that way. It does this way though, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, then I thought it did. Now let's get rid of him again. Come back up. I'm sure it moved me along. Let's have a look. 
No, it isn't. It was just my imagination and I keep falling bloody back down again. Right. That's better. Oh, we can't get anything there. Oh dear. Oh, we've got him there. Yes, we've got him. And uh, getting very low on life though. Yeah, yay, we're up there. Brilliant. And the bloody professor or whatever the hell he is. And if that's uh, meant to be Van Helsing, because it's a bloody weird looking one if it is. Not a lot of screen tearing, but it's uh, that's fine. So I'm supposed to jump on that pendulum, am I? <coughs> yes, you are. Aha. Oh, I don't trust that. Do they break when you walk over, as you say? No, they don't. Okay. Right. I thought they would. I, thought, yeah, I had a sneaky feeling that they would. Oh, he killed me. Well, what a fantastic place to stop, guys. Uh, right. Oh, my God. That is a doozy, isn't it? Eh? Uh, very, very fun. I mean, completely different. Um, the music is fun and lively. Um, I haven't played this game before, so I can't judge it, uh, what it compares to the Japanese version. Obviously, you've got that choice there. We won't be covering the Japanese versions because that might be a separate video, I feel. Um, but yeah, how fantastic to be able to play this and regionalised. So it's in English, guys. And fantastic. Right, let's quit. So yeah, that is a nice little bonus to have that. That is awesome. And what a bloody fun game. Surreal, but really fun. Right, guys, so yeah, there we get to uh, the bottom now with the uh, the ebook. As I say, you've got the Japanese versions there, but we're not going to play them right now. Uh, I feel that's a separate video, really. So I'll have a quick look at the ebook. Let's see. Okay, so I'll let you have a read there of uh, what you've got to do. <laughs> That was very quick, wasn't it? So you'd have to pause it. Well, that's already stunning, isn't it? Just the, the uh, supposed cover to it, really. I suppose you have to... Use the shoulder buttons, do you? Uh, change page, let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't stay up long enough for you to... Ah, change page left and right. Okay, then. So, right. Let's have a look. Ah, right, there we go. There's your book of contents there the pages of contents I should say right I'm just going to flip through it guys and let you look at it I'll stop talking pause it if you need more time Obviously you can zoom it in as well if you're uh, reading it yourself, so when you grab it you can have a proper look at it. You could actually print this off, couldn't you? Make your own little book. Um, awesome. Easy enough to do, you just have to take pictures of it. And then print it off. You could probably do it straight off your cell phone.
There's a lot to read on that one, guys. You will have to pause to read all that. Message to the families. Mm -hmm. Certainly get a lot of content here, don't you, in this ebook? Wow, look at all that. Oh, this is fantastic for any Castlevania fan to have all this. Gives you the proper anything you want to know about the game franchise. Wow. So I'm not sure how many pages there is. But we're on 61. You would certainly have to zoom it in to read some of this. Are we going to reach 100 pages, guys? That's what I'm wondering. Obviously, this is quite long-winded for you guys. If you're not interested in this, then obviously you can skip ahead to my uh, final thoughts. Wow, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic that they added this. What a stunner. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that does appear to be the end. Yeah, that is the end. So, what a stunning bloody ebook. Wow. I keep saying wow again. But that's all you can really do because this is a stunning package that you get for under eight quid, guys. Right, let's come out. Where, how do we return back to the menu? Keep it up long enough for me to read it. That would be handy. Uh, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Return. There we go. There we are, guys. Yes. Wow. 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 And I don't care how many times I say wow. Do you like Castlevania? If you do, it's a bloody no-brainer, isn't it? This is one awesome bloody collection. And then they top off the cherry on top of the bloody iced cake with that fantastic ebook, the bonus book. And, uh, you know, I was already oh, over the moon that Kid Dracula's on here with a, an actual regional translation. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Um, yeah, this is a definite must-have. What a fantastic, fantastic collection, guys. Well, there we go. Another Nintendo Switch video. I know. I keep making a lot of these, don't I? But the content that they're knocking out at the moment, guys, is, is just awesome. And it has to be shown. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this very long video. Um, if you did, please, please, please 
like, comment, and subscribe, and tap that bell icon to be informed of any more up and coming videos. And uh, with that, guys, I'm going to leave you with this funky music, and I'm going to say it off videos in. Cheers, and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Grab this bloody game.